What's happening? This Johnny Snow back in the building. And today, what we're going to do is a little work on my M9A4. The M9A4 is actually pretty awesome, but I wanted to change the trigger out. Oh, yeah. this. Out. Alright, so if you look at this trigger, you have a smooth face on the trigger and you know the trigger has some width to it but I wanted to put a wider one with a little with, with some grooves on it and what I found was that Beretta does sell a competition trigger to put on your gun so I went on and snatched it up this is what I ended up getting all right I thought I ordered the black one but I ended up getting the red one so the red one's gonna go on the Beretta. I never do any of my trigger work. And the reason I don't do the trigger work is because if something goes wrong, I gotta be able to take it back and let them fix it. Because I'm not gonna be sitting here trying to figure out what I done did wrong. Now that may change in the future. I may take one of my old guns and just start doing stuff like trigger work on it. It's not gonna happen in this video. Gonna go ahead and take this down to Arrowhead Pond, right there in Jonesboro, Georgia. And we're finna get Shannon to go ahead and put a trigger on this gun for me. You can go holler at Shannon to do all types of stuff for you. He's the one that put my binary on my Draco. Let's go on and run on down here to Arrowhead Pond. What's happening? The made it up here to Arrowhead Pond. There we go. Finna go on in here and holler at Shannon. This is uh, the one that has that new grippy stuff and you can change it's the Vertec grip where you can change it and put it with the back strap. That has a, more of a 1911 style grip on it. That's what it takes sometimes, huh? <laughs> the third this hand. This is where we try not to lose your trigger spike. Oh, okay.
Yeah. Bench. You know how to reset the uh that box. I was thinking that box. Pretty good. All right. Here we go. We got the Beretta. We got the Beretta back. Let me. All right. Let's take a look at this trigger. Here it is. This. Bam. You guys saw that? Hold on. Make it that reset. One more time. All right, that's the reset. All right, let's let's go ahead and see what the trigger looks like on this one. This is a Toy PT92, and this trigger is a whole lot thinner. Sits a whole lot different on there, and here we go. There's the wall. Definitely a lot more movement than the Beretta. Definitely a lot more than the Beretta. Just to jog your memory, here's the Beretta one more time, all right? Hold on. Let's see. Hold on. Big difference, big difference. All right. This was not what I originally wanted to get. I wanted to get the black trigger, but the red trigger, I could work with it, I think. I think I can work with it. I do a, do a little something to it to balance that red out, I guess. But yeah, we'll do, we'll do a little something to it. So you guys are gonna have to subscribe to see what I do <laughs> to this. I already have some things ordered for it that just haven't came in yet. But uh, definitely, definitely, definitely hit that like and subscribe and notifications and wait to see how I make the red work on this Beretta. It's going to be awesome. <laughs>